Welcome back everyone. So hopefully this time it works. So I've had an absolute nightmare today guys. Uh, let me tell you about that first. So it should have been a live car boot sale video. Uh, I was walking around my GoPro. Literally it's the Wednesday boot sale but so it's a very, very smaller than my usual ones. Oh, I filmed everything. Picked up quite a few good pieces today in terms of gaming related. Uh, done the pickup video in the car. Got home and the SD card says error needs formatting. So it's like, oh great, right? So formatted that. I've lost lost the uh, footage that I've done. Just started doing another one in here now. I thought I'd do the pickup video again. Got halfway through. I thought, why isn't the red light going off on the GoPro? Another new card that I've put in there says it needs formatting. So I've just formatted this. So this is the I feel like the second or third third time now that I'm doing this video. So went to the small boot sale today, guys, and I've got to repeat myself. I think I've said already like at least three times. So I went there today. There was quite a few lanes opened up. Uh, no one's allowed into half seven, so I did get it a little bit later. And as soon as I'm walking up to the gate, my eyes just fixed straight onto this pile of PS2 games. Big pile of PS2 games. Uh, so I was fixed on it. So as soon as the gates open, I just ran over to that uh, pile of PS2. There was a few other people coming over as well. Uh, looked at it, nothing in the PS2. Because I was so fixed on those PS2 games, I didn't realise there was a small pile of about three PlayStation 1 games, nothing special, but there was a Dreamcast game in there which was ready to rumble, and they were a pound each, so the person who was next to me just picked them up. They've gone, uh, and it's a completely new person. I've I've started to, well, this is the first time I've seen them at this boot sale, uh, so a new person collecting gaming, so I thought, right, I need to jump an aisle, uh, take the risk and jump an aisle. So I jumped an aisle, and then straight away come up to a bundle of uh, Nintendo Wii bits and pieces. So the lady said to me, make an offer. That's an absolute nightmare. I hate when people say make an offer because I always want to start low and work my way out. I'm not going to go in with a really decent offer. So I went in at £10 for this bundle and it is two consoles, around 10 games, all the wiring, pads, etc. Uh, so yeah, she went, oh, no, 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 can't take 10. I'll do 15. So for £15, I picked up, and guys, apologies, it was in the bag. I've undone it to do the pickup video, now I'm doing it again. But it was two consoles, so two Wii's. This one looks like it's come from cash converters and it is missing the little flap. I think I've got a replacement flap uh, for that, so I'm happy with that. I didn't check to see if there's any SD cards in here, actually. No, there isn't. And then one fresh one, so that's all fresh. Everything does need a little bit of a clean. Just going to check this one. No, nothing in there. That's fine. Two consoles. I've picked these up a few times now. Pads, wiring for two consoles as well. So you've got one controller there. Remote. I've got another remote here. In the bag as well, at the bottom of the bag, there was three DS games as well. Uh, so I picked up Bolt and then Penguin Club, two of those. Uh, and then this thing, don't know what that is, but that was in there as well. Uh, a Mario steering wheel, so official Wii one was in there. And then the games, the games. So these were the games. So this whole Wii bundle sent me back £15. Uh, the first, I only opened because I want the sleeve for the sports. Uh, and there was a sports in here, and then there's a Mario in here as well. And the discs ain't too bad. Make sure there's no other discs. So yeah, Mario and Wii Sports. So I was happy with those straight away, and I'll take them out of that if it needs a clean. All the games are in there, so you've got uh, Beach. One of them, yeah, here you go. So I noticed this on the first time I'd done the video. This was a surprise to me. You would have seen my shocked face. So I opened up Wii Play, and you've got a Wii Resorts in there, which is just laying in there. So I'm happy with that. Because as you guys will know, I have a lot of empty cases and I've preempted because I've done this a few times now. I've got my empty case, so I still have another one. Empty case. That's in there. That's now complete. I've got quite a few of these as well. So that's in there. You've got Just Dance free, Just Dance. And I picked these up in a charity shop as well. So I've got a couple of these now. Uh, family game. The dreaded Mario and Sonic. I tend to just get loads of these, never do too well on them. Golden Balls, another Wii Play, and then Wii Fit. Uh, so yes, all that Nintendo Wii bundle, £15. I think I've done well there. I was happy with that as well. The next person I would have gone over to, so it's a little bit hit and miss after that. I thought, right, if anything, that's going to be my best buy of the day. I'll leave it at 15 quid. Uh, missed out on that Dreamcast game, etc. But let's keep on looking. And there's one guy that's just putting out, you know, like the bric-a-brac. And I love these stalls. They look like house clearance. I just go over, go through the boxes. Uh... And lo and behold, and I just got this game and I was telling everyone the story about how I passed it at a boot sale. Everyone was giving me a hard time. Just found another one. So, Simpsons Hit and Run. So this is two now. The disc doesn't necessarily go in here properly or it's a little bit loose. But yeah, I did check the disc. The disc is fine. So yeah, no marks on there. All good. 
Uh, yeah, so another Simpsons hit and run. So I now have two of these, uh, which is good because there's some sell-on value or trading value on these. So yeah, I've got another Simpsons hit and run. And then I did find, which I never even knew nothing about this, but Prince of Persia, so the uh, trilogy for PlayStation 2. So yeah, all discs are in there. There's one behind there as well. Uh, but yeah, so the guy wanted £2 a game. To be fair, he only had like four games. The other the other two were like football games. These were only two, so I paid £4 in the end. And I think he gave me, I want to say he gave me a discount, but I kind of knocked down the price on some other bits and pieces. So this, this needs a clean. Seems to be, it seems right. I need to see if it works. I've got the game. So this is for the GameCube. This is the Donkey Kong little bongos. Uh, but he wanted originally, I think, a fiver. I said, I'll give you two, and he took two for it. Uh, so I've got that as well. That way it goes in there, so we can fix all that up now. So yeah, two pound for that. Uh, so that's fine. So yeah, from that stall, paid doo -doo -doo, six pound. Six pound all in all for the two games and the little bongos for Donkey Kong. Uh, a lot of people, when they saw me with those little uh, bongos, I think they're called, or little drums even, for Donkey Kong, a lot of people were hunting them for everything that the guy had because they thought there was going to be a GameCube in there. So you saw loads of people just flock over. Every box was just getting checked. Uh, he didn't have it. But the only other thing he did have, he had like a box of wires and joypads. And I keep passing on joypads and I need a few. Uh, and again, some of these need a clean. I'm going to make sure I pick up the right one. So this one definitely needs a clean. Uh, so it's for the Xbox. Obviously a plug-in. Uh, but yeah, it's got the extension. And these bits are always a little bit harder to come by. You always find a joy pads which have, let me just show you this, which are just like that. So they're always missing this other adapter. Uh, so I definitely, I've got a few of the adapters as well. But uh, yeah, I picked that up. I think that he wanted, so it's funny, he wanted, uh, he wanted a fiver, a, a pad, a fiver, a pad. Uh, he took two pound off me for him. Uh, so I paid two pound. And then someone else further down had loads of pads. So a lot of 360s, but they were all missing the backs. Uh, and they wanted, again, they wanted three pound a pad or two for a fiver. So I ended up picking up two uh, wired ones. So you got the Crystal Xbox and then just a normal one. Both plugins, but both missing the uh, the adapter bits. But I'm, I'm happy with those because I've got the adapter bits so I can sort those out. So on the same stool, as, as they're pouring all these wires out and joy pads, uh, these little Samson earphones come out, never used, brand new. And they wanted a pound, so I put that in the pile and I thought I need to look at them just to make sure they're never being used. Yeah, but they're brand new. I don't want to hold on in case I fall out. Yeah, but brand new there. So they were saying about they just didn't use them and they wanted to sell them. So they just thrown in the bric-a-brac with wires and everything. So that was a pound. Uh, so five, six. And then this I got for two pounds. Uh, don't, I don't really, to be fair, I don't really see them. I don't really watch out for them maybe, but the Amazon stick. So that's two pounds. So I got these both for all, because I brought the pads for five, for two. They let me have these for three pounds. So I got the earphones and the Apple, the Apple, the uh, Amazon Fire Stick. So I was really happy with that because uh, there's bits and pieces I can do to this just to make it a little bit better and play other bits and pieces if you get where I'm going with that. So I'm happy with that. So that's all the pickups for today. Sorry there was no live boot sale video. And guys, I think it would have been good because I went through so much. I was rummaging more because uh, yeah, I was on my own. There weren't a lot of people there. So I was just rummaging more through the boxes. Uh, and got time to do that because there wasn't much there. Uh, I think as I'd finished the boots, I think my video was only like 20 minutes as well. I thought this is perfect. So hence, I went through the pads, I went through the wires and you guys would have seen a lot of that because there's a lot of like uh, loose PlayStation wires, like for the start, the plugs. There was the Xbox adapters. There was a normal uh, Mega Drive plug as well. There's loads of that stuff and I thought, well, I want to capture this and get people's thoughts and views in the comments. But I'm absolutely gutted the bloody S D card for some reason it's not reading on the bloody macbook but yeah apart from that i think i've had a good day i think i picked up some good gaming pieces in all how much have i spent just under 30 quid i think so 30 quid for all this uh, i don't usually pick up consoles guys i'm going to be honest i don't usually pick up the uh the bundles like these uh these things you'd see in my videos i go past so many uh for some reason i don't know if it's because i've been watching other videos now and they've got me drawn in in terms of uh, everyone's picking up consoles, there will be money to be made on them, etc. And I've just started picking them up. I don't want to get too much into it because I was doing this last year. I'm just looking around because I ended up picking up like a couple of Super Nintendo's, a couple of normal SNESs, PlayStation 2's. God, no, let's not even speak about PlayStation 2's. I've got so many. Uh, and then I did ask actually about a normal uh, Xbox was there. Looked pretty battered, uh, but they wanted £15 for it with no wires. So I left that. That's the, I, I would have done it for a couple of quid. 
because uh, I've picked them up cheap in the past. But yeah, apart from that, I'm happy with these bits. Quite happy with the pads, to be fair. I need to start collecting this kind of stuff. I've got, it's not there anymore, but I've got a full box there and I've got a tub just of loads of wires and joy pads. I just need to add to it because uh, they're good, especially if you're bundling stuff up, etc. So yes, happy with what I picked up today. Sorry there's no live footage. Please check out my videos, which will be this weekend. So I'm going to a boot sale Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So it will be the trilogy. And I'm trying to think of a way I can do my videos where it'd be a little bit more light humoured uh, for those three videos. But yeah, stay tuned for that because I've got a couple of ideas. But no, thanks for watching and stay safe.